Hi, I'm Eric Sargent, General Manager at Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana. And I'd like to show you our 2020 Land Cruiser 200 build. This build is designed to be driven in Texas, kind of like in a semi-off-road, corrugated, textured uh, road. We wanted ultimate smoothness. We went with the BP-51 suspension. Uh, stock height at two inches out of the box. SBC upper control arm. The rears were sitting on a 27, 22 springs. This is the uh, stock wheel that we had powder coated in black. It's spaced out with a Spider Trax 1.25 inch wheel spacer, powder coated in gloss black. Tires are the Michelin LTX AT2s uh, in 275 LT tires. We have five of them, the spares also the same the matching tire and matching powder coat. Uh, we have a, 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 this one we've, is the first one that we've actually installed with an airbag system. So underneath the car here, we have uh, airbags by Airbag Man. And it's got a Kevlar sleeve around it. Yeah, a quick little demonstration on how that works. So we're, we're running just one compressor. It's got the ARB twin air compressor. Um, and then we wanted to have the, the ease of use of, um, of the airlift system. So we bought an airlift system, married it to the, to the ARB, um, and then basically you can set your PSI anything you want, anywhere from 5 PSI to 99. So right now it's set at 54, so if you want to adjust your rake or your load capacity for towing or whatever, then basically just kind of set it to whatever you want your PSI to be. Let go. And same thing to take it down, just set it to whatever you want. Let go. Couldn't be any easier. You can also do it from an iPhone app if you don't want to have this device in the car. Um, it's got two presets as well. Um, we're really happy with this so far. Um, easy to install. Uh, Suspension-wise, again, it's got the SPC upper control arms. Um, we have some armor down. We have the sleeve rock sliders for the LC200. As you can see, there's uh, it's lit underneath of it. Let me shut the light off up out. Those lights are wired into the dome light circuit so that when you unlock the car at night, the car is going to glow. When you lock the car, the, the, the puddle lights will shut off. There is a manual override for that on the Switch Pro. So if you're actually you know, using it and you wanted to have those on, you, you certainly could do that. There's a lot of protections on this car. We have uh, the car's covered in expel paint protection film 100%. Every square inch of it. Um, and then on top of that, we also have um, ceramic coat on top of the paint protection film. Uh, four layers of H9, one layer of base. We have, um, on top we have a Prince Sue roof rack. It's an aluminum roof rack, it's modular. It's, uh, it's really utilitarian. In the front we have a, uh, uh, a uh, wind fairing that's cut out for the 40 inch. And then we have a noise reduction trim piece installed here as well. This is a rigid uh, single row midnight edition light bar. We have a matching one in the rear. And again, that's wired into the Swiss Pro, which is mounted in the sunglasses holder. I'll show you that in just a moment. The electronics for the light bars, the wiring, as you can see, it's ran down the, down the roof rack underneath the, the hatch. And then it loops right underneath here through this grommet down through here, back underneath, and then all the way down the headliner. Um, in the back here, um, we have a set of ARB summit drawers. Um, we have dual sliding um, uh, tops. We installed a couple uh, custom uh, mounting points for, uh, for a custom thing for the, uh, for the owner. Um, the drawers, inside the left drawer, we have an ARB jack, hydraulic jack. Um, it's kind of mounted securely in here with a, a quick fist. So it's not going to be going around anywhere. Um, we have an ARB pump up kit. We also have the trail trailer um, uh, lockable tailgate storage. Um, when we install these, we layer it with Dynamat a couple times and then an automotive grid carpet to trim it off. And again, it's, lock, it's lockable. 
Um, back here too, we also have a power inverter. Um, it's a thousand watt Sam Lack uh, inverter uh, mounted uh, behind the bottle jack holder. Um, this may be hard to see on camera, but behind the bottle jack holder, there's a blue C fuse box. And then we installed a, a fan just to get a little more ventilation back there. Up here we have a, um, a drawer light system. We have uh, amber for night. We have white for day or anything else. Um, and that's hardwired in. Okay, Greg, let's show the, let's, before we can hop on in, let's show the escort radar detector on the outside. Before we hop on inside, I wanted to show you real quick too that this does have a Escort 360 uh, radar detector jammer, it's custom installed. <coughs> yeah, you can kind of see it underneath there. And I'll show you where it's at on the rear. And here's the radar jammer too. <coughs> and then also underneath here, we install installed a custom um, Anderson connector for the owner's uh, um, winch on his trailer. Okay, on the inside we got switches up here. Uh, Switch Pro 9100. Uh, rock light override uh, for the doors. Uh, again, that's wired into the dome light circuit. We have the power inverter. And I'll show you how that looks here in just a second, actually. Let's put the camera back here. Right behind the center console, we added um, a couple four amp USBs right here. And a couple household power outlets and a couple of 12 volts. Uh, roof rack front and rear, uh, air compressor. Um, and then we have um, the batteries uh, with a smart isolator. So we can connect the batteries if the crank battery is ever dead. We can connect the batteries together right here through the Switch Pro and then a one and a two auxiliaries, which we can use in the future for something else. Up here, we got um, the Escort radar detector. Uh, and then also over here, we have the controls for that. So we can mark locations, that sends it back up to their cloud, mute, volume, power, etc. We have um, a Red Arc trailer brake controller right here. And then we also have um, a long range fuel tank, uh, the 12.5 gallon long range America uh, fuel tank. We've upgraded the, uh, the, um, the, the fuel pump as well as the hoses, the lines, and the fitting the clamp. Everything's been upgraded in terms of the long range plumbing. Uh, oh, one more thing too, um, window tent. Uh, we do use Expel window tent, um, 80% ceramic in the front. 85% uh, ceramic in, in the rear, so very little, if any, fit on the rears, just to kind of give it the ceramic uh, heat reduction qualities that come with that. Um, but they match up real nicely. And then real quick on the block out, um, again, there's about 22 pieces that we take off and paint. The lower door molding um, in the back. We have the, uh, the, the, the pieces behind the tail lights here, and then of course the V8 badge and the Toyota badge trimmings that come along with it and then the front the lower fog surrounds are two pieces here and here and then of course the headlamp wings and the grill everything's taken apart um, sent to the body shop uh, prepped and painted with um, PPG Enviro Base um, Toyota paint uh, 218 uh, crystal block Toyota paint and clear coated so it should last forever under the hood we have a uh, Group 35 aux battery installed on a sleeve group 35 aux battery tray we have a red arc uh, dc dc it's the bc dc 1240d we have a custom mount that we've attached it to the sleeve tray um, we have um, a handful of different fuses here we got the red arc a couple of uh, 60 amp red arc uh, fuses here here and here <clears throat> we also have the inverter fuse 
the switch pro fuse, and then another one for the auxiliary fuel tank. And then of course we have the ARB twin air compressor. Um, and then we've mounted a ball valve here so that when you're, uh, so when you're gonna use your power tools or you're gonna air up or whatever, then you have that right, you have the, all the pressure going right here. Otherwise, it'll be in this mode, which is gonna let it take, give the air to the, to the back of the airbags. Um, yeah. Oh, and then also another fuse right here for the Anderson connector. That's about it under the hood. And that's it. That's our 2020 Land Cruiser 200 Special Edition.